okay, you're going to be sunny, but kind of cold outside today. And that's helpful. Well, you know, instead of rain. But, okay, let's go in and see what I got going. Oh, my. Okay, I got the mill moved back. And I got it off this bad spot right here. And it just kind of has a weird look to it. I want to see how much uh, it pushed the uh, concrete in. <laughs> I got to be careful rolling over that too. So anyway, let's see. I got enough room to uh, get the small Monarch 10 E out this way. And I've got uh, a strap around the base of the mill chain um a chain uh, uh come along it looks like three or four more straps okay i just got this tensioned up and i want to see if we can uh pull that uh, little monarch out it weighs uh 3450 pounds i think okay so I'll get you set right here. We'll see what happens. I'll put some tension on it and uh, and see if we can uh, pop that loose. Okay, here goes. Look at that, it's pulling it right out. Okay, I gotta be sure Get another plate under there. Let's see where that uh, a little bit more over be okay. I can leave that notch there to into. Okay, I got I got space there. Keep going. Whoa, it just cut, it just came down off the one in the back, but it's still coming out. Like looking good here. I believe I'm on this one. We'll see what happens over here. I got a plate there. Okay. Keep going. It came off the, the one plate there at the toe. Oh, look at that, it came on to the, the next one. We're looking good. Uh, this old mill machine's not going anywhere. I think I'm still okay. Okay. I'm gonna go around and reposition things. It'll take uh, probably about 10 minutes. Okay, I got those uh, plates repositioned. And uh, let's uh, see if I can uh, move it over a little more.
Great. Tech and business. Hope you're all doing good. Things are going pretty good here. Wow, I'm gonna take a little break here, repositioning those straps and chains. My goodness, I'm uh, I got I'm gotta get this uh, little way clear of this one here. And uh, I mentioned it before. I decided I'm gonna sell this uh, incredible machine um, simply because uh, I I don't use it enough. And uh, what I will do is uh, I will keep going on the Monarch 10 E thing, but I'll get some other uh, Monarch 10 E's that have drive problems and things like that. Be more interesting. And uh, well, anyway, I'm going to put this thing up for sale. And I just thought I would uh, uh, let everybody know. And uh, I'll do a video on it specifically. Okay, well, I'm going to get back. I'm moving the little one out. And, uh, well, maybe have a cup of coffee, too. Okay, thanks. Okay, ready to pull on this thing just a little bit more. Let's see how we're looking here. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it a few more inches. Like it's just gonna clear, maybe. Oh, no, run out. Okay. Hey, let's have a quick look around here. Got that strapped around the base of this uh, 6,000 pound mill. And I got about a 3,500 pound Monarch 10 E here. And hey, there's my O ring picks that I lost. Bunch of other stuff. I don't see much else. Oh, no, no cool tools or anything back there. Okay. Well, that's looking good. I just almost got that clear. I'm going to have to reset this. I ran out of chain here again. And uh, I'll have to figure out something there. Or get behind it and just push on it with a bar. And then I can put it on the plates and get it out the door pronto. Okay, I'll be back with more progress on this move.
Things are going good so far. I hope you're having a good day too. Okay, back soon.